Let's follow the step-by-step -step process of conducting a systematic search for health research to perform a systematic review. A literature search involves six key steps. Clearly define your research question, identify key concepts from your question, gather search terms for each concept, compose the search statement that defines the logical relationships among your search terms, use this statement to search article databases, refine your search to improve the results. We'll use the PubMed database to demonstrate this process and you can quickly adapt these steps for other databases with minor adjustments. Start by crafting a clear research question using the PICO framework. Who is the patient or what is the problem you're addressing? What treatment, exposure, or test are you considering for the intervention? Are there any alternative interventions to compare with? Finally, what outcome are you aiming to achieve? Let's put this into practice with the topic of heart attacks. Imagine patients who have suffered a heart attack. We're curious about the effectiveness of aspirin therapy and how it compares to another drug. The outcome we're focused on is which treatment does a better job at preventing future heart attacks. So our PICO question becomes, in individuals who have experienced a heart attack, is aspirin more effective than clopidogrel in preventing subsequent heart attacks? Step two, identify key concepts. Pick two or three main ideas from your research question. Fewer concepts help you cast a wider net, leading to a more complete search. Focus on the problem and intervention. These concepts are often emphasized in abstracts and use standardized terms, making them ideal search terms. In our example, we'll focus on heart attack and aspirin as our key search concepts. In step three, gather your search terms. List the keywords and controlled vocabulary for each key concept. First, think about the words or phrases most likely to appear in the information you need. These are your keywords. Next, consider controlled vocabulary, the standardized terms that databases use to describe and organize information. Think of them like hashtags on social media. They summarize topics and direct you to relevant content when selected. To gather your keywords, start by listing terms associated with each concept, including word variations and related terms. Think of synonyms like hypertension and high blood pressure, different word forms like diabetes and diabetic, as well as plurals, acronyms, abbreviations, and alternate spellings. Remember to include clinical jargon, slang, historical terms, and even common spelling errors. To expand your list, consider related terms. For example, think about closely linked ideas like cancer, malignancy, and tumor. Explore umbrella concepts and their specific aspects, along with complementary ideas like the connection between allergy and asthma. Background resources like up-to-date, textbooks, or Wikipedia can help you uncover more relevant terms for your topic. When using controlled vocabulary in your searches, it's important to use the precise standardized term for your topic. You have two ways to find the right controlled vocabulary term. One approach is to identify the terms directly in database records. Start by searching for your topic in an article database, choose a relevant article from the results, Review the controlled vocabulary terms assigned to that article. Pick the term that best matches your topic. In the PubMed database, these controlled vocabulary terms are called medical subject headings, or MeSH terms. You can find a section in PubMed records that lists the MeSH terms for each article. Another way to find the right term is by searching the controlled vocabulary database. For a PubMed search, you can use the MeSH database to identify the controlled vocabulary term for your topic. For example, searching heart attack in the MeSH database will reveal that the precise term is myocardial infarction. Remember, each database can have its own unique controlled vocabulary. To ensure accurate search results, always use the specific controlled vocabulary for the database you're searching. For our search on heart attack and aspirin, use keywords like cardiac infarction and myocardial infarction for heart attack. For aspirin, include its chemical name. In terms of controlled vocabulary, the MeSH term for heart attack is myocardial infarction, and for aspirin, it's simply aspirin. 
In step four, compose your search statement to guide the search engine effectively. Combine your search terms using the Boolean operators OR, AND, and parentheses to clearly define the logical relationships between them. This way, the search engine better understands your logic, leading to more accurate results. Boolean operators help refine search logic. Using OR expands your search to find items containing any of the terms you're looking for. For example, aspirin or ibuprofen will return results that include either drug or both. The AND operator, on the other hand, narrows your search to find items containing all your specified terms. For instance, aspirin and ibuprofen will return results that include both drugs together. Group search terms with parentheses to tell the search engine which elements to process first. Just like in math, the search engine handles the terms within parentheses first, allowing you to create more complex, targeted searches by nesting one search within another. For example, using parentheses in aspirin or ibuprofen and pain or fever will return results that include either drug and either condition. There are two main types of search statements. A general search statement quickly finds research evidence, making it ideal for literature reviews. In contrast, a systematic search statement is crafted for a thorough and precise search suited for systematic reviews. Use this formula to create your general search statement. Start with your first key concept. Include synonyms, related terms, and control vocabulary, connecting them with OR and enclosing them in parentheses. This step guides the search engine to find items including any of these terms for your first concept. Next, add your second key concept and link it to the first with AND. As before, list its synonyms, related terms, and controlled vocabulary. Connect them with OR and enclose them in parentheses. This formula helps the search engine find results that include terms from both key concepts, ensuring more comprehensive results. For our search on heart attack and aspirin, we use this general search statement. It finds information on heart attacks, aspirin, and their related terms. Let's explore the second approach, the systematic search statement. We use this method for three main reasons. It ensures reproducibility by preventing automatic database changes, keeping your search consistent. It sharpens precision by clearly defining your search focus. It captures word variations, making your search more comprehensive. To achieve these goals, we apply four key techniques, phrase search, proximity search, field search, and wildcard search. Let's explore the phrase search technique. This method finds the exact sequence of words you enter. Simply enclose your phrase in double quotes. For example, Searching for quality of life in quotes will return results with that exact phrase, not just the separate words quality or life. Think of phrase search like DNA testing. It's all about finding an exact match. Now let's explore the proximity search technique. This method helps you find words that appear within a specific distance from each other, allowing for more flexible searching. It captures phrases or ideas where key terms are close in proximity, but not necessarily side by side. The exact process can vary by database. For a PubMed search, follow these steps. Enclose your search terms in double quotes, followed by an opening square bracket. Choose a specific PubMed search field like title, title and abstract, or author affiliation. Add a colon and a tilde. Specify the maximum number of words that can separate your search terms. Close with a square bracket. For example, searching for hip and pain within two words of each other could return phrases like hip pain, hip joint pain, pain in right hip, and other variations where hip and pain are close together. Think of a proximity search like herding sheep. It keeps words close without needing exact positions. The next technique is a field search. This method directs your search to a specific section of the database record, like the title, author, or subject. Simply add a search field tag to your term, telling the database where to look. Remember, tagging methods can vary across databases. In PubMed, using the title field tag narrows your search to articles where the term appears in the title. 
PubMed also supports field searches within titles and abstracts, author information, medical subject headings, and more. And don't forget to enclose exact phrases in double quotes. Think of a field search like shining a spotlight on a specific area, sharpening your focus on what you need. Finally, let's explore wildcard searches. This technique helps you find variations in the spelling or form of a word or phrase. To perform this search, use a wildcard character, typically an asterisk, to replace one or more characters. Here are examples of wildcard searches in PubMed. Wildcard at the end of a word, also known as truncation. Searching for neural asterisk retrieves terms like neuron, neurology, and neuroscience, anything starting with neuro. Wildcard in the middle. This finds variations within a word. And multiple wildcards to explore different expressions within a word or phrase. Wildcard searches expand your results. Think of a flower blooming and revealing on its petals. A few important notes. In PubMed, the wildcard must follow at least four characters. Also, wildcard searches may return unrelated words. If this happens, search for each variant manually. Let's create a systematic search statement for PubMed using this formula. Begin by listing your key concept along with its synonyms and related terms. Tag these terms for a title and abstract field search. And include the relevant MeSH term with its tag for a controlled vocabulary search. Combine these terms with OR and enclose them in parentheses. Next, add your second key concept using AND to connect it with the first one. Repeat the process of listing and tagging terms to ensure you capture the articles that include both concepts. To refine your search, use techniques like phrase search, proximity search, additional field searches, or wildcard search to adjust precision and scope. As an extra tip, expand your search by including the MeSH term again as a keyword tagged for the title and abstract field search. Keep in mind, this formula is designed for PubMed. If you're using other databases, you may need to adjust the syntax to align with their specific search rules. For our example on aspirin therapy for heart attack prevention, let's create a systematic search statement for PubMed. Start by searching for heart attack in double quotes to get the exact phrase. Include synonyms, related terms, and controlled vocabulary, tagging them appropriately. Use wildcard searches with asterisks to capture variations in word spellings and forms, and then enclose these terms for heart attack in parentheses. Next, add the second key concept, aspirin, using the AND operator. Repeat the process of listing and tagging relevant terms to complete your search. Next, let's move on to step 5, searching article databases with your search statement. Different databases offer specialized coverage, so choose the ones that best fit your topic. PubMed or Embase for Biomedical and Life Sciences, PsychInfo for Psychology and Behavioral Research, Sinon for Nursing and Allied Health, and Web of Science or Google Scholar for multidisciplinary topics. Head over to the online clinical library to access these and other databases. In this session, we'll search the PubMed database, offering access to over 36 million biomedical citations. Be sure to use UC San Diego's special PubMed link for seamless access to our library's journals. To get started, just enter your search statement in the search box. We'll walk through a PubMed search using our example statement on aspirin treatment for heart attacks. On the PubMed homepage, start by entering your search statement into the search box and click search. Your search results will highlight snippets of your search terms. This makes it easy to see how each article connects to your topic. Click on an article title to view its abstract and detailed publication information. Check the article type label to identify the kind of article it is. 
For example, this one is a review article. To access the full article, click the Get It at UC button. If available, it will connect you to the resource through our library. To return to your search results, click the Search Results link. PubMed automatically sorts articles by relevance using its best match feature. You can change the order by clicking Sort By. Here you can reorganize the results by publication date, author names, or journal articles. Every article in PubMed has a unique identifier known as the PMID, or PubMed identifier. If you enter an article's PMID into the search box, you'll be taken directly to its PubMed record. With over 10,000 results, let's refine them to a more manageable number. Use the filters on the left side of the page to narrow down your results. You can adjust the publication date slider to focus on a specific time frame. If you're looking for a specific study type, like a randomized controlled trial, you can select that filter as well. For even more options, use additional filters to apply further criteria. Your options include filtering by article types, sex, age groups, and more. Within a record, you can use the similar articles feature to find related publications. Scroll down to the Cited By section to see a list of papers that have referenced the article. Reviewing these citations give you a sense of the article's influence in the field. As you scroll further down, you will find mesh terms, which summarize the article's content. An asterisk next to a mesh term indicates that it's a central topic of the article. This helps you quickly assess the article's relevance to your research. Click on a mesh term like myocardial infarction. You can search PubMed for more articles associated with that term. If you select Search in Mesh, you can view the Mesh Terms record. The record includes the term's definition. You can also choose subheadings to narrow your search to specific aspects of the topic. Below that, you see the Mesh term displayed in a hierarchical tree structure with broader topics above and narrower subtopics below. This structure helps you explore the topic, allowing you to drill down into specific areas or broaden your search to more general topics. To view your search history, click the advanced link beneath the search box. Click the chevron beside a search to see a PubMed's interpretation and execution of your search statement. This shows you how PubMed enhances your search with terminology translations and other adjustments. Reviewing this information can help you refine your search statement and pinpoint any issues. PubMed offers a search alert feature that sends you emails when new articles match your criteria, keeping you updated on the latest research development. To set up an alert, Click the More Actions icon next to your search and select Create Alert. You need to log in or create an account to activate the alert. Remember, PubMed only keeps your recent searches in the history for a limited time. By creating an alert, you can save your searches in your account for long-term access. You can save citations from your search results by selecting the check boxes next to the citations you want. Then click Save to download them to a file. You can also email them or use the Send To option for additional choices. 
For example, you might add them to your clipboard for temporary access or store them in your PubMed accounts collection sp space. On PubMed's homepage, you'll find a tool called Clinical Queries. This tool helps you find clinical studies on specific clinical or disease topics by applying special filters. Enter your search terms and select filters for clinical categories like therapy, diagnosis, or prognosis. You can also decide whether you want to search broadly or narrowly in scope. Clinical queries is especially useful when you need focus results quickly. That wraps up our brief tour of PubMed. In summary, make the most of these features to enhance your PubMed searches and be sure to bookmark UC San Diego's PubMed link for quick, easy access to our library journals. In the final step, you will refine your search, fine-tuning your approach to capture the most relevant information. Start with a trial search using your draft search statement, then evaluate your results to see how well they address your research question. Remember, refining your search is an iterative process. Adjust your search terms and techniques as needed and repeat the process until you're satisfied with the results. After several rounds, you may notice that further changes aren't significantly improving your results. At this point, you might wonder, when should I stop refining my search? How will I know when it's complete? There isn't a fixed rule for when your search is complete. You might decide to wrap up your literature search if you refined your search multiple times and are not uncovering new information. Your search results include studies that appear in the reference lists of key articles. Experts have reviewed your search strategy and do not have any further suggestions. While searching the literature, you might run into some common challenges. Here's how to handle them. If you're getting too many irrelevant results, try narrowing your search criteria to focus on more specific studies. If your results are limited, consider expanding your search criteria to include a broader range of studies. If you're getting a lot of irrelevant search results, try these strategies to narrow your focus and find more specific studies. Apply database filters to limit results by date range, age group, article type, and more. If you're doing a systematic review, it's best to avoid these filters. Use phrase searches by placing an exact phrase in double quotes, like kidney failure, to get results that match the, that exact sequence of words. Conduct field searches to target specific sections of database records, such as the title, abstract, or controlled vocabulary. Choose a more specific idea to focus your search, like using arrhythmia instead of the broader term heart disease. Add more concepts from your research question to further narrow your search. Use search filters to apply predefined criteria to focus on the specific research characteristics you need. Mix and match these strategies to find what works best for your search. Now let's take a closer look at search filters. Search filters are predefined statements designed to help you find studies with specific research characteristics, like study design or topic. For example, the Cochrane organization offers this search filter for randomized controlled trials that you can add to PubMed searches using the AND operator. You can find search filters on various websites, but it's important to select one that's compatible with your database, as filters are tailored to specific platforms. If you're getting limited results, try these strategies to expand your search and include a wider range of studies. Include more synonyms for each concept and connect them with the OR operator. Explore similar and cited by articles through database links to find related studies. Check the reference lists of relevant articles to discover additional sources. Expand your focus by choosing a more general idea, for example, using heart disease instead of the more specific term arrhythmia. Include related concepts, such as asthma or allergy, to explore connected topics and expand your search scope. Search across multiple databases, such as PubMed, Embase, PsycInfo, Sino, and Web of Science, 
to ensure you're covering a wide range of sources. Mix and match these strategies to find what works best for your search. Let's wrap up by reviewing the key steps for a successful literature search. Begin with a clear research question guided by the PICO framework. Identify the key concepts, focusing on the problem and intervention. Gather search terms, including synonyms, related terms, and controlled vocabulary for each concept. Compose your search statement by combining these terms with Boolean operators to create logical relationships. Fine-tune your search using techniques like phrase searches, proximity searches, field searches, or wildcard searches. Search relevant article databases using your search statement, selecting those that best fit your topic. Finally, refine your search to capture the most relevant information. This may involve narrowing or expanding your criteria or exploring related research through similar articles, studies that cite the work, and reference lists of relevant studies. Thank you for following along. These strategies should help make your literature searches more efficient and effective. Let's take a moment to reinforce what we've learned with a few review questions. Can you identify the mistake in this search statement on aspirin for heart attack prevention? You can pause the video here. Their answer will be on the next slide. This search does not effectively connect heart attack with aspirin. Right now, it's divided into three sections, a search for heart attack, another combining myocardial infarction with aspirin, and a third focused on acetylsalicylic acid. To fix this, adjust the parentheses to link the heart attack terms directly with aspirin. Match each search technique below with its corresponding function. Here are the correct answers. Can you identify the syntax error in this search statement? In other words, what's incorrect about the search term formatting? The error is in the missing double quotes around exact phrases. Be sure to enclose quality of life and psychological well-being in double quotes to accurately search these phrases in the title and abstract and mesh fields. Does each search refinement strategy below expand or narrow your search? Here are the correct answers.